At this time, I'll uh, like to bring up uh, Darren Thompson, Sheriff Corner. Darren, whenever you're ready, you can do an opening statement. Well, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Is, is my microphone on? No. Go green. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, if you're not acquainted with me, I am Darren Thompson, the seated sheriff. I'm the 15th sheriff elected in the history of this county. It's been my honor to serve you for the last two terms. I did not grow up here, but my family did. I raised my children here. I hope to raise my grandchildren here. My wife and I this year is celebrating our 30th wedding anniversary, and I'm also celebrating my 30th year of law enforcement. I spent 23 of those years at Sorry, Darren. Thank you. <laughs> I can tell you that I know how to adhere to bells and lights. <laughs> I'm sure you do. Okay, so we'll start with uh, question one for you. Uh, what is your policy on public accessibility and media transparency for the sheriff's office? We provide a Public Record Act request for anyone who comes to our office and requests those and we're quite busy doing them. We also uh, provide a statement to the media each day regarding our bookings and our arrests and the case numbers that we pull uh, during the activities that we uh, are encountering out in the community. It's unfortunate that we're not able to uh, provide a greater insight into our agency due to a lack of uh, IT staffing and support, but we're working on that together collectively with the county and hope to provide more of that in the future. Thank you, Darren. Second question, is there anything you can say about the fear related to the DACA situation that is so unsettling for many of our residents? The United States government code clearly states that immigration is the role and responsibility of our federal government. Our local law enforcement officials in my opinion, uh, from my survey, have no interest in performing immigration uh, work. We like it the way that it has been for the last 40 years where our federal partners are doing that important work and our local partners are allowed, uh, uh, are encouraging people of, of all classes and whether they're documented or not to be able to come into uh, our law enforcement centers and participate as victims and witnesses testify in trials and continue to see justice done. Recently, uh, SB 54 has made that more difficult by limiting our ability to communicate with our federal partners and it will certainly be affecting the DACA issue as we move forward. Great. Thank you, Darren. Last question. During your tenure, what challenges have you overcome and if re-elected, what are your priorities? I'd like to thank all the previous speakers who talked about the budget cuts for the sheriff's office. <laughs> I, I often tell people that I have the greatest job in the world at the worst time in history. Coming to an agency with 96 funded positions and seeing them decimated to only 46 funded positions has been an incredible challenge and it still remains our challenge even though we've recovered a little bit from uh, our staffing issues. We still have a long ways to go to get back to where we were in 2009. Nonetheless, we've been able to keep our crime rates flat here in San Diego County, which I think is miraculous using a skeleton crew. Many times we only have two badges and two guns out there serving this community. In fact, I'd like to credit this community for their tenacity in guarding themselves, a job that we wish we could do better if we had more staffing, but it hasn't been possible for us. This is a very beautiful community, and I think we're very fortunate to have the low level of crime that we have despite our plummeting staffing issues. Obviously, if we're moving forward together, we're moving forward together with the intent to increase uh, the resources that are going to the sheriff's office so that we can provide the contemporary services that the sheriff's offices do in our neighboring counties and that law enforcement does across our nation. It's been very difficult at this time, but I'm glad and, and encouraged, quite honestly, to hear uh, the many other speakers tonight and our future leaders who intend to funnel more money our direction. 
Thanks, Aaron. Um, and then in a wrap-up uh, closing statement for you. It's been my greatest honor to serve in this capacity. San Bino County is 144 years old, and they've only ever elected 15 people to be their sheriff in 144 years. Election opportunities like this give you the opportunity to use your discretion and your discernment to evaluate candidates, to examine their character, their motives, their qualifications, their experiences. And I would encourage you to do that with me as well and do that with my opponent. Although he wasn't here tonight, I'm sure he would like you to take a look at his qualifications and his experience as well. This is an opportunity for you to make choices. Your future has an impact, or your future will be impacted by these choices. My website is Thompson for Sheriff 2018. There's an extensive list of my skills, qualifications, experiences, and accomplishments. And I would hope that you would visit my website and examine those closely. I would also invite you to speak with me, uh, have uh, a meeting with me, and allow me to share my history and my significant story with you that explains why I'm a uniquely qualified individual to continue to serve as your sheriff. Thank you. Thank you, Darren.
we would like to call up our candidates for treasurer tax collectors.